Hey guys, Tech Control with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and pair and connect your Apple Watch with your new iPhone 15 lineup here. I have the 15 Pro here, and this method will work on any iPhone with the latest iOS 17 update and Apple Watch 10 update as well, which is the latest update for your Apple Watch. So first thing is, of course, go ahead and turn on your Apple Watch. If it's your very first time, it's going to be simple. You're going to hold this button right here that you see. Uh, which is going to be the big side button on any Apple Watch and that should power on your device and you see the Apple logo up here which is good and then while it's powering on on your iPhone you want to locate the watch app itself as well which is a default app uh, that's available for you and if you don't have it you can go to the App Store here and search for it as well but it's an app if you delete it you can search for the watch app from Apple of course make sure it's the Apple one right you can search it up and this is the one it's a utilities from Apple app as you can see here it says open for me because I have it turned on and all that will happen is that if you have a new Apple watch that's powering on for the very first time generally if you have the you want to want to make sure your phone has the Bluetooth turned on and you want to be near your Apple watch and the phone and and after a few seconds you see this pop-up menu open now if you don't see this pop-up menu open if you, you can also do it by simply clicking on the watch app. It's going to take you exactly to the watch app. So nothing special there. It's just simply the way to connect it. So make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. And after that, what you'll do is you'll select the option on your iPhone to set up the Apple Watch. Now, that's kind of the way it works in terms of connecting your Apple Watch with your iPhone is that you need this app. So first thing I ask you if you were going to setting it up for yourself or a family member, I'll do myself here. And then what will happen is the iPhone will have this screen which allows it to pair with you since here this Cosmo kind of thing which you point your camera towards it and once you do point your camera it's going to take about a few seconds you'll scan that and then it will kind of verify that's the Apple Watch it needs to connect to and then you'll get this set up Apple Watch menu and then the next thing here we have is your wrist preference left or right you can whatever pretty much where you're going to watch it or you're going to where on your left hand or right hand so I'll just keep it as is by default but you have the option to choose which one you'll wear your Apple Watch on and then after that you'll see here it's connecting to your Apple Watch it says it's going to take a moment so we'll just wait till it connects to our Apple Watch and perfect after that we'll get this terms and condition which will of course have to agree here so I'll click on agree click on agree here and then you can set up your Apple ID if you didn't already by signing into existing one or you can skip this step doesn't matter but you will need to enter your Apple ID to pair it so I'm gonna go ahead and enter my Apple ID here for a moment so I'll take this off the screen and as you can see here it's just verifying my Apple ID so I can connect it and get all of the Apple services available uh, next thing is if you want to share your analytics you can do that I usually don't but and then you want to enter a pass code for it you can add a short one or a long one or simply choose not to have one highly recommended that you set one and then after you do that the phone's going to tell you to pretty much set one here I'm just going to set a super simple one but you get the idea you want to enter one that's complex and then location services do you want to enable or disable you can always come back in the setting to enable and disable and then font text uh, if you want that bold text or size you can play around with it you can have it be bold as you can see here whatever option you like I'll just keep it as default and you can always come back in the setting to adjust this so let's continue here in shared setting basically it's telling you you know the settings from your iPhone Will also be shared on your Apple Watch. So I'll hit OK here. And if you want a custom fitness and health information, which most people usually do, you want to fill in this information about yourself. I'll just hit continue here. And then noise, uh, some of the notifications that you can get on your Apple Watch around noise, cardio fitness, low heart rate, again, high heart rate as well. These are really important if you really want to monitor your health. I recommend keeping it all on. And then uh, you can also see if you are taking any medication, it's asking you for these. You can um, select if you are any of these. I'll just put continue here. And then it gives you some uh, emergency information and safety that the Apple Watch can help, such as like 
emergency SOS, fall detection, crash detection, siren if you, you know, are in need of help, and then backtrack if you need to retrace your route. So let's continue here. And then what the action here, this action button that you have, what do you like the action button to do? You can have a default as workout, but you can choose any of these option that's available for you and you can always set this up in the setting as well so to so continue and then here is the, the feature the for the app which automatically you know opens underwater to measure certain things like how deep you're in the water the time and then temperature as well which is really handy if you take your apple watch for any dives and such and you can open the up when it's submerged so i'll just hit that and then go dive Safety instructions, which is telling you just some basic information. You can read through it. Hit continue. And then finally, welcome to Apple Watch. And you hit OK here. And you're all set up and ready to go just like that. And your Apple Watch is connected to your iPhone now. And you're good to go. And that's it when it comes to setting up and connecting your Apple Watch. So if you ever want to do any of the adjustment or settings here, you can come here into the settings and kind of play around with all the settings here that's available of course they're also available on your actual i apple watch as well if you play around with these buttons you can pretty much do other stuff so that's it in terms of connecting your apple watch the new iphone 15 uh, lineup i hope this quick little video was helpful so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys the next time